this poem is called Dan Fred. A god disguised as a suitcase, that grip, traveling talisman of fortunes, shifting horizons, that grip, his companion now aging in an attic, yet ageless as Atlantic. That grip, his survivor of ocean, rolling swells, borders, airport, carousels, silent preserver of ancestral spells. That grip, his transplanter of sun-cradled apron strings, unsung covenant with roots as well as wings. His continent hopper, his portable bridge, that grip, his weighty, silent witness to a long, long story. <coughs> Once asked by customs, have you anything to declare? <laughs> he pointed to his grip. Just memories and winds of change. And by the lovely waters of a tainted Thames, where bridges illuminate a rippling page, and summer's light made light of Atlantic baggage, he sat down dreaming of redemptions <coughs> and New Jerusalem coming of age, love's unknown other, roosting in the bone. He had never heard like dear John Clare, a dove cooing in mossy oaks, <laughs> or, or, or seen a white tail in barley's juicy green. He heard instead. A parrot's fanfare from the turret of a palm tree. He saw a kiskadee's breast contribute its yellow to the sun gold of a Georgetown morning. Come, Claire's sweet ghost, your landscape is his test. To learn how this thing, diversity, does operate. I went by Brixton Market to investigate. How the fruit and veg them does integrate. I saw apple and mango conversing cozily. Ripe planting had no quarrel with broccoli. Aubergine don't bear grudge against piri piri. I was impressed how pineapple spoke sweetly. And when red pepper responded discreetly, I knew the fruit and veg them could teach a nation the secret of harmonious cohabitation. So if you want to learn about this thing, diversity, observe butternut squash and the little lychee. In the fruit and veg them market, it was plain to see the red, yellow, purple, and green live in harmony. Yes, the fruit and veg them show each other respect. Cucumber never raised a finger to project. 
Yes, the fruit and veg them show each other respect. Cucumber never raised a finger to project. Then I saw salt fish shutting up chorizo. <laughs> like the two of them just talk the same language. Yaman and mackerel held no grievance. Black pudding and salami struck up alliance. So if you want to learn about social etiquette, study the ways of the oxtail veal brisket. In the fish and meat market, it was plain to see the black, white, pink, and brown live in palm on me. The fish and meat them show each other respect. I never see a fight between two fillet yet. And if you can join me in that final stanza, so we can um, prepare the ground for pudding. <laughs> uh,